Processed foods make up an estimated 70 percent, that's 70 percent of the U.S. diet. And since those foods are designed to sit on the shelf for a long time, they contain an estimated 5,000 additives. Nutritionists have said for years that if we want healthier bodies and brains, we need to eat less processed foods and more fresh foods, and organic if possible. Happily, we have some good news on that front because of what's being called the farm to table movement. It's a movement that's gaining momentum across the country. Late June and 450 acres of walnuts and olives are ripening. A cornucopia of summer fruits and vegetables is filling out in their well-tended rows. Cause for any farmer to celebrate, but this is no typical summer picnic at Sierra Orchards and the Center for Land-Based Learning. These are uh, peaches wrapped in, um, wrapped in prosciutto. Uh, this is San Daniele prosciutto. Beets, tomatoes, stone fruit. Uh, this is feta. It was made by North Valley uh, Farm. Uh, Deneen Ashcraft. It's a goat's milk feta. It's really, really amazing. Uh, beets and turnips, and uh, we've just seared off some uh, crepinets. And the endive is that. grown by uh, Rich Collins here at Collins uh, Ranch. So he, um, mm. pretty tasty, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, then we have uh, beans, uh, black eyed peas, uh, some greens uh, cooking over there on the on the grill along with the uh, sausages. Yeah, this is uh, blackberries and stone fruit. So it's apricots, peaches, nectarines, quillots. Uh, same stone fruit that's gone in the salad, but with the addition of the blackberries. And we macerated them in a balsamic, sweetened balsamic vinegar with some uh, herb and then it, a little bit of salt. That's it. I may just have found my way to the ultimate cookout, and Chef Michael Tui hasn't even started talking about the main course. It's going to be amazing. Tonight. It's yeah. going to be amazing. Welcome to tonight's dinner. It, it's going to be a fabulous meal. Michael Tui, who is now the executive chef with the Kings, is preparing it with his tremendous staff, of course. Owner Craig McNamara and his Farm Center for Land-Based Learning have invited Chef Tui to prepare the elaborate menu. Tui is a rising star in cuisine and in the farm-to-table movement. There's people that are arriving, so let's go ahead and start passing. A small legion of the center's supporters are arriving to celebrate its graduating class of 60 new farmers. And the growing movement that's teaching us as consumers why it's worth making fresh, locally grown foods a healthy part of our daily diets. His farm is ideally located to champion that movement, the community of Winters, 30 miles west of Sacramento. Born into a noted political family, Craig McNamara traveled the world as a young man and learned farming and food in cultures where it's a central part of everyday life. You know, I think people should eat what satisfies them. I really do. I would start with sustainable. Let's be well informed about sustainable. I'm 100% organic as a grower. And I'm organic because I believe in the three P's, that we, as, that I as a farmer do things that are well for the people who farm, for the planet that we farm in, that's the environmental side, and for the profit of the farmer. While the McNamara's operate their farm and the Center for Land-Based Learning, he also serves as president of California's Board of Food and Agriculture and has strong convictions about the movement he helped ignite. When we're eating healthy and fresh, we become passionate about what we eat, we become passionate about our health, and I think we support our society. There's plenty of evidence of that passion in Chef Tui's makeshift kitchen. Is there anything about this salad that you can speak to the health benefits of? A uh, thousand percent, you know? I mean, you have uh, all kinds of nutrients from uh, the fruit, good fiber. You have uh, protein from the walnuts and the feta cheese. We've got the beets are just full of uh, great nutrients, tomatoes, a lycopene, and uh, all the beautiful things about tomatoes in season. You know, you got amino acids. It's, there's <laughs> nothing <all>. wrong with this. <laughs> Dozens of studies tell us many things affect nutrient levels in our food. When was it harvested? Was it ripe? How far was it transported? Was it processed? And how? Almost all agree that the loss of nutrients begins immediately after harvesting, and that transportation time adds to the problem that processing of any kind is probably the most harmful to nutrients. That even refrigeration, while it may keep produce edible for a time, saps a hefty percentage of its nutrients. 
and that eating foods as soon after they're harvested as possible is the surest guarantee you're getting maximum nutritional benefit and taste. Sweet! Easy. I love how Don't a plan love, comes together. Yeah. You, know? you can get away yes. with more things on a farm, right? Because it is a farm. About 150 guests have arrived as Chef Tui greets many of them personally. The music plays. And the wine flows. It's local, too. Very local, as local as it gets. So if you drive south uh, on Jefferson Boulevard, we say the first vineyard you see will be where this wine came from. Everybody take a different platter, right? Yeah. Got it? Thanks. This is a peach wrapped in prosciutto drizzled with balsamic. No, wait, hold on. This is just delicious. Okay. Much of what the guests will feast on came from a plot just 20 feet from the tables. The dinner honors young farmers like Brianna Routon, a recent graduate of the center's farm academy. Over there, there's someone who's experimenting with Asian vegetables. And then beyond that, there are folks growing just a, a wide array of diversified vegetables to sell at a farmer's market or a restaurant or wholesale. I love being a farmer because I feel so productive. I can literally see the fruits of my labor every day. And not only that, I think I love doing something that nourishes people, that I can share really tangibly and physically with people. Mary Kimball directs the center. She believes maintaining our access to fresh, healthy, local food depends on the passion of a new generation of farmers like Brianna. The hard work and the business acumen and the marketing and having to deal with all of the, the crazy environmental issues, the drought uh, that we have as farmers. And so for people to really appreciate where their food is coming from and to learn more about it, I'm so appreciative of that and thank them for that. That's about as crispy and fatty. Delicious. Beautiful. <laughs> Chef Tui is ready to deliver this night's masterpiece. Got a natural break. A porchetta and platters of French and Italian style sausages, all from a plump, heritage bread hog raised organically just a few miles away. It's going to be a little warm, Judy. Tell me what you think. I like it. It's a fact that these diners are enjoying their feast in one of the world's most productive agricultural regions, blessed by a mild climate and fertile soil. And it's true that Sacramento and its environs like to be referred to as the farm to fork capital of the U.S. But Craig McNamara believes everyone can share the healthy bounty of locally grown food. It's already going across the, the nation, and it's not the two coasts. It's everywhere in between. It's in our Midwest, it's in our Northeast, it's in our Southwest, it's across the nation. And that a backyard garden, or even a tiny city plot, can be a farm, and its owner, a master chef, with benefits. Farm to Fork, it's, it's reversing the nature deficit order. It's trying to get us connected and reintroduced back to our farms, and just uh, knowledgeable about what we eat. It's encouraging to see farmers markets and backyard and urban gardens popping up all across the country. It's also interesting to note a recent study from the University of California which showed that 90% of Americans could be fed by food grown within 100 miles of their homes. So those fresh options are really there. And one other note in our story, you may remember Craig McNamara referring to Michael Tui as the executive chef with the Kings. Now those are the Sacramento Kings of the NBA. And Michael's making news because his concessions menu will be comprised entirely, he says, of healthy food grown within 100 miles of the new arena. So now it will be up to the team to be as good as the food served at the arena. Mm -hmm.